Sam, how, like, do you, how do you feel you about said, Teddy Atlas saying that you you are the old, the most overrated Mexican fighter in history? <laughs> he went mean? on the rant. <laughs> Teddy Atlas. <laughs> what does that mean? He said you're the most overrated Mexican champion in history. He said the Salvador <laughs> Sanchez. <laughs> Más popular, pero sin causa. Ah, fucking crazy that guy. <laughs> and, 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 and you think he knows boxing? Fuck. You're motivated to prove to Jamel that you're a good fighter. Have you struggled with motivation since you've been at the very top of the sport? Has it been tough to get no, up for something? I always time? motivate myself because I love boxing. And this kind of fight motivate, motivate me more because he never believed in my skills. Uh, uh, and I always motivate myself because I love what I do. I love boxing and, and, and I'm ready. Do you know with no boxing, no life, do you worry about what might happen to you after boxing? You know, we see fighters struggle. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard after boxing because I've done this all my whole life. But you know, I have my business and I have my family I need to enjoy. But I, right now, I'm enjoying boxing because I'm young and fresh and I feel fucking good. <laughs> hey, Sam, <laughs> you, said, you said everyone at one, from 147 to 54 is bigger than you. And uh, does that mean that there's a chance we can see you fight at 154 again, maybe against uh, Terrence Crawford? One, I, think, well, I can make 154. Sorry, buddy. Okay, let me ask this. Why did it take so long for this fight to uh, get made with Charlo? And, and do sometimes, you feel... You sometimes feel the fights take long, they, takes that so long and, 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 and make the fight when, when the fight needs to be big, right? And this, I think this is the correct moment. Do you feel at your best right now? Yeah. It's the right, this is the right time, right? This is the right time. Did you, did you hear? Did you hear? ¿Eh? ¿Te estás sorprendido que no está hablando mierda? Sí, fíjate que siempre he hablado mucho y es de esos peleadores que habla mucho y en esta ocasión no, pero al final de cuentas hay que mostrar el sábado, ¿no? You think the moment is getting to him? Yeah. Hey, Chen, how, how, how do you feel about it? You've never been there for a fight because you're smiling more, more fans around yeah, you. You know, buddy, I feel confident, I feel good, I feel in my 100% and that made me feel happy. That made me feel confident because you know when you come, you train in the hundred percent and you feel confident. That's all matter. Uh, Julio Cesar Chavez, um, Gilberto Roman, uh, Salvador Sanchez, and what? You say yourself. No, I know myself. <laughs> later, later. <laughs> how, how disappointed were you not to be fighting in Las Vegas for Mexican Independence Day weekend? For and me, what's the likelihood that you come back? For me, every day is Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> what are your favorite American sayings? Well, like you're learning English now. Sayings? I don't. I don't hear that much. Uh, como dichos o palabras, como frases oh, americanas. It's a bad words. Favorite curse, <laughs> curse, favorite American curse words. Huh? Favorite American curse words. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker. Bad, uh, what music you uh, uh, finally know what motherfucker means now? Him. Yeah. Now I know. <laughs> I'm sorry to Caleb. What's the likelihood that you'll come back to Las Vegas to fight in Allegiant Stadium? No, I feel good. I feel great, and I'm happy to be here. I fought a lot of times here, and, and I'm, I'm I'm happy. Canada, what uh, message do you have for Mexican fans in Spanish? Really, oh, gracias a todos por su apoyo. Espero que estén apoyándome como siempre y que viva México, cabrones. Canelo, gracias. Gracias, everybody. Canelo, you're